What's going on gamers? This is Dr. Redstone signing in to another episode on the channel. We're here at the gym. Actually just starting my fitness journey and everything like that. So anticipate maybe some stuff I'll tell on the channel. I don't know. Definitely I talked to the gym owner. Trying to get something set up to do a couple of like, you know, gym montages or whatever. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be going over leaderboards for the last Guild Wars over the weekend. I want to give a big shout out to Beast Mode and also a huge shout out to Jay. Uh, Blando, I see that you got your data mine out, man. We're going to go ahead and bring that to the channel here pretty soon. We do definitely have a jam-packed uh, week when it comes to videos. So yeah, without further ado, cue that intro and let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty gamers and jumping on into this one I kind of want to start a debate but I don't want to get way too into details but I want to know you guys opinion on it we have supernatural over here taking that numero uno spot overall with 65 million but we also have the untouchables over on the other side when it comes to iOS global taking that number one spot with 50 million now they do have an incredible streak of like four years 200 plus events and everything like that which definitely blows my mind and i'm curious if you guys if they were on the same servers you guys think untouchables would be able to win they would still take number one that nobody would be able to get in their way i kind of do man the level of commitment and dedication so i want to give a huge shout out to every single buddy in untouchables for taking the number one spot with ios global and let's go ahead and start with them. Reigning Immortals taking that number two spot. They had a 10 million commanding lead. The King's Finest in the number three. And Star Alliance Effort in number four. Now you guys know, when we go into the global, it is the top 20. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We have Horseman Destiny at the number five spot. Reservoir Legacy and Chimpanzees sit in number seven. We have RA Evil Family. Big shout out to all those guys right there. Look, that's where you finish. We got Legacy and Devil's Crush sitting in that 10 spot. So now that's everybody in the top 10 right there. I believe when it comes to Guild Wars, I think all the top five uh, is the ones that get the plus version. Let me know down in the comment section below. I don't remember. We got Good Looking Angels. Big shout out to Good Looking Brad right there. I'm sure that is the family one. We got Loki NBK, the Northern Beast, the True Wolf Pack. And rounding out the top 15 right there, we have the MB Zoo. We got Serial Killers, Dead on Arrival. We got Rom in the 18. And like I said, the top 20 all got that armor. So good looking roosters. Another family, good looking brag. Big shout out. Kill Shots taking in that top 20 spots. We got those guys right there. Runner ups. Now jumping on back over here. So we do have, this is Android Global. Supernatural sitting at the number one spot overall with 65 million points. We got the True Giant sitting at 40 million points. Hey, that looks familiar. KOR Family sitting at Numero Thress sitting in that third spot right there. We got Crazy 88's Yakuza sitting in the fourth spot. And a big shout out to Only The Best. We got QMob, shout out to the family. We got Driftettes, number seven. And we got Knights Will Rise, number eight. Right in progress, sitting at number nine. Big shout out to Loke Family at number 10. Rounding off those guys. We got Muffin at number 11. Legio Brazil sitting at number 12. I like what they did with the colors right there. That's pretty sweet. We got World's End is Near at 13. The Killer Clowns and Ultimate Zen rounding out the top 15. Now, top 20, you guys know, got that armor. Hispanos de Mundo sitting at number 16 spot right there. We got Jabba what? We got Jabba what? Jabba Walkie sitting at number 17. Deviant Brawlers at number 18. Zombie Killers and... Tlane Sick Tick. Tlane Sick Tick. T Lane X Tick. Something like that. Why they always gotta have hard names? Now, jumping on over here to the iOS European server, we got Casa Nostra sitting in the number one spot. Exalted Legacy sitting in the number two spot. We got Sin sitting in the number three spot. And Memory and Memory and Thought sitting in that number four spot right there. Look at that second place victory. That's pretty sweet. 
We got Warlords coming in at number five. MCU sitting at number six. Exalted. We got Vikings of Empire. Look at these scores right here, though. This is the eighth place. Gosh, that's crazy. We got the Hunter sitting at number nine. Relaxing Kingdom with relaxing with just shy of four million points. Sitting in the number 10 spot right there. We got Black Wolves. Big shout out to those guys right there. And number 11, we got Death Squad sitting at number 12. H2SO4. Look at that. That's double trouble right there. Running in two guilds. Dooch held in one at number 14. And the Invincible sitting in the top 15 spots. Once again, that round right there was IOS European server. Now let's go ahead and go on over here. We got MBM met by Moonlight, which I want to give a big happy birthday to Rush. Happy, happy birthday to you, girl. We got Majestic Gladiator sitting in the number two spot. Kirsten forever. RIP Kirsten. At number three, we got LOD at number four. Jumping in at number five, we have Die Duchen Numero Dos, or number two. I don't know how to say number two in German, but I should probably find out. We got German Underworld at number six. Espartanos Espanoles at number seven. We got German Skrillex. Skrillex at number eight. We got All Shall See right there sitting in the number nine spot. Now, this one isn't my picture. You guys will see mine here in just a second. We got White Wolf rounding up that number 10. DD2 OAC? OAC. I think that's how you pronounce that one. We got League of Shadows sitting in the number 12 spot. We got Majestic Alliance sitting in the number 13 spot. And then we got Dr. Red Gyarados. I still don't know the sound of a Gyarados. What the heck? We got Fearless Dutchman. A big shout out to everybody that I ran with over there. That one was super awesome. A Pokemon theme event, Pokemon theme run. We all changed our names. It was super duper cool, super duper fun. Thank you for having me over there, Fearless. Uh, man, I cannot wait to get back there. We got La Beck Beck Gulda. What is that? La Beck Beck. Gilde. La Beck Beck Gilde. Is La Beck Beck Gilde at the number 15 spot, rounding off the Android European server right there. So you guys seen I did in fact get the armor, but unfortunately we were only going to the 105,000 mark at least to make sure and get that material so then we can craft the spirit spirit. So I didn't get the ring and the amulet, but I did get that armor. I'm not sure if it's gonna be useful but I know that I've got a couple different rings and amulets that it's definitely gonna do good with. So maybe we might get it leveled up. I don't know if that's really gonna happen or not. But yeah, definitely excited for this week. We got a whole bunch of videos and everything like that to bring to the channel. We've already got a couple of them all done and dusted, so I'm definitely excited to show you guys those ones. Um, yeah, I think that is absolutely everything for me, guys. Definitely excited to see where and what direction this channel is going from and going to. So hopefully you guys are excited to go on this journey with me. That's going to be everything for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to smash that like button. Definitely helps me out more than you know. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure and put those down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe before you go. This is Dr. Redstone signing out. Thanks, YouTube. Peace. Mic drop. Ooh, 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 ooh.